Hi, Bob from Pongrow here with another tutorial. This tutorial is the second in a series looking at adding modals to our web projects. In the last tutorial, I demonstrated how to add modals to a Bootstrap 4 project. In this case, we will be adding modals to a plain HTML project. This will require a little more hands-on programming since we don't have a framework providing all of the background code. We will be using a really nice JavaScript library called IzzyModal that has some good built-in features, but is fairly lightweight at 132 KB minified. Let's get started. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to first put together a quick gallery page. Obviously, you won't have to do this to add modals to your own project, but I'm doing it just to get you used to some of the Pine Grow tools. So start by opening a new HTML page by clicking on the new page or project, selecting plain HTML, and then the index.html template. Once you get that open, go ahead and save the, the page and reopen as a project. Click on yes. All right, so now that we have this open, let's go ahead and put our page together. Okay, so navigate back over to our library and go ahead and drag a div to the page. Um, you can also drag it to the tree. Most of the time, that's actually what I do. Okay, so for this div, we're gonna use this as the wrapper for our gallery. So let's go ahead and give that um, some styling. So we're just gonna create a new CSS rule uh, and um, call that gallery grid. So now that's going to say, do we want to add it to our style sheet? And we'll say, OK. And now from within that, uh, we want to set up our gallery grid as a, uh, as a grid display. Um, so we're just going to go ahead, uh, come down here to display, select grid. And then we're going to uh, specify the grid dimensions. So we're going to click on uh, this last icon over to go down to our grid container. And we're going to change our template columns. We want four of them. So we're going to say, repeat, four. And we want each of them to be one fraction of that uh, entire width. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of spacing in between uh, each of the columns. OK, so now that that's set up, uh, we're going to go ahead and drag another div to the page. And again, I like using the tree. So we're just going to place it within our gallery grid. And we're going to give this some styling. Uh, we just want to create sort of a, a card effect. Uh, so we're going to give this a, a new CSS rule set. We're going to call it uh, gallery item. We're going to scroll down to the borders. Whoops. Uh, one pick, black solid hit equal okay so now we've got a nice black border the whole way around that uh, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set the text align to center so that, that way all the items within our card uh, are centered okay next we want to set our card up so I'm gonna bring an image in I'll just quickly search for that tag and again I like the tree so we bring an image in uh, we want the image constrained to the card uh, so we're going to Create, again, some styling on it. Create that. And then from our sizes, whoops, uh, we're going to say 100% for the width and auto for the height. And then lastly, on the card, let's go ahead and uh, bring in a um, paragraph for the descriptor. Uh, we'll just call this um, picture title and a button. And then uh, just put some text into the bu button so that we can see it. So now we have our card. Now we want multiples of these. So just to make it easy, we're going to select this. We're going to say duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So now we have uh, four quick uh, uh, gallery items set up. Uh, let's go back into those and use another Pine Grow tool to give them each a unique image. So go ahead and select on uh, the uh, image tag. And then we can see in the properties, 
uh, that it displays this image here. To quickly put in placeholder images, uh, one thing that we can do is go to page and then select get free stock photos from Unsplash. Now, we want all of these pictures to be, uh, or images to be the same size in these thumbnails. So one thing that we can do is in the Unsplash search box, we can put a defined width and height, which um, basically will cause Unsplash to go ahead and crop any images to fit within that uh, particular thing. So I've already gone ahead and searched on ocean here. Now, if we hover over uh, a photo that we like, say this one, uh, down at the bottom, there'll be a custom size selector. So we can go ahead and select that. And now if we do uh, another search, whoops, forgot to change the image. we can see that each one of them will end up coming in uh, the same size, which is really uh, quite handy. You don't have to fool around a lot with uh, resizing images um, uh, outside of uh, Pine Grow. Okay, so we're almost done with our gallery page, I like this one. So we can close this out for now. So now we have our nice gallery images here and we basically wanna target this view button uh, to go ahead and open larger images uh, of, of each of these. So uh, the next thing that we're gonna to have to do is actually bring uh, the JavaScript in that we need to power the modals. So first, uh, we're gonna navigate back to that Izzy modal uh, webpage uh, and the link is in the tutorial or below the video uh, and we're gonna to wanna to click on download. And uh, for these purposes, let's just download it right next to our uh, actual project folder. Go ahead and reveal that and unarchive uh, according to how your system works. Now, uh, we're gonna need to bring a few files into our project. Uh, so from the IzzyModal master CSS folder, bring in the izzymodal.min.css into our project. And then the other thing that we're gonna need is uh, the JS, and I'm just making a new folder to be able to hold that JS um, in our project, uh, bring the izzymodal.min.js into our project. All right, so now if we look back over here at our project list, uh, we can see that uh, our new folder hasn't shown up yet, so we're gonna have to refresh this. So right click on the name, hit reload project. Okay, so now we can see uh, we have our izzymodal.min.css and our izzymodal.min.js. So uh, with JavaScript, um, the order of script loading is important. And in this case, we need to load in the jQuery, uh, uh, jQuery before we load in our izzymodal.min.js or we're going to get an error. And so for this project, I'm electing to do that using a CDN, a content delivery network. So if we navigate to code.jquery.com, we can quickly pull the core in and I'm gonna select the, the most current core, the 3.x, and I'm gonna pick the slim minified version to uh, both because we don't need all of the uh, jQuery features and uh, we want a uh, smaller footprint. So click on that link, that'll bring up this modal with uh, a script tag. Go ahead and click this blue button, it'll copy it to our uh, um, clipboard. Then go back into Pine Grow, go back to your library and within the uh, HTML box at the top, the code box at the top, you can just go ahead and paste that script and then drag your script to the page. Okay, so now we have our jQuery there. Now we can go back to our project and drag in our izzymodal min.js. And you can see they're loaded in the correct order now. jQuery first, then the izzymodal. And then finally, we'll drag in uh, our uh, styling. Okay, so now we have uh, all the components to do a modal uh, loaded onto our page. So let's create the first modal. Uh, so uh, much like with Bootstrap, um, our modals can be uh, brought in at the bottom of the page uh, and they can be any uh, kind of uh, construction that we want that we can make with Pine Grow. So I'm just gonna do something simple. Um, just gonna delete this out. I'm just going to uh, bring in a div and then within that div, uh, I'm going to bring in an image. Whoops. Okay, so uh, I want that image to be the same as the uh, first thumbnail here. So I'm going to click on that image, go to page, get free stock photos, 
Let's do another search for ocean. And this time, instead of selecting on the custom 400 by 400, we're going to pick the regular one, the full size photo. And so now we've got that loaded in. Now, uh, next thing we have to do is we have to be able to tell Izzy Modal uh, what we want opened as the modal. And again, if you wanted, you could put any sorts of things uh, within this div um, that you can imagine. Other images, uh, other thumbnails, things like that. Um, so select the div, and we're going to go ahead and give it a unique ID. Since this is an ocean, we'll say oops, ocean view. Okay, so now we have uh, this. Uh, identified as uh, a unique div that we can pass to Izzy Modal. Um, I'm going to use uh, Izzy Modal's title and close buttons. So again, uh, we could add those in uh, through Pinegrow. Uh, I'm going to use the existing ones. Now, how do we identify this uh, as an Izzy Modal um, uh, modal? Uh, we have to write, unfortunately, a little bit of code. Um, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to copy and paste this. But there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could, again, put our script inside uh, the code box up here and drag it to the page. Uh, so just have the code on page. Uh, because in real life situation, we're probably going to want to write uh, a bit more than one line of code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and instead uh, start a new file. So I'm going to go to my project folder. Uh, and then within the JS, I'm going to right click and then pick create new file. Just give it a quick name. Okay, so after we create the file, we want to go ahead and make sure it's added to our page. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it over here onto the page, and we can see it here at the bottom. You can now go ahead and double click that, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in uh, the code that uh, will identify our new div as a modal. And basically, all I'm saying is uh, that when to jQuery is that when the document is ready, uh, identify Ocean View uh, as uh, an Izzy modal modal. Um, so I'm just passing in that hash as to let it know that it's an ID. Okay, now at this point, um, we can save this and close it down. Uh, so now at this point, if we have JavaScript off, we'll still see our modal. If we turn JavaScript on, we see that the modal disappears. And so when you're working with uh, your modal, if you're styling your modal, just turn the JavaScript off and you can do whatever you need to do uh, to go ahead and, and add styling to that. Okay, uh, so now... Um, at this point, we've got our modal set up. The other thing that we want to do is, again, uh, use the built-in Easy Modal title and close buttons. Uh, and so um, in order to do this, uh, we need to add some attributes uh, to the div. So click on that div. Then we want to make sure we're in our properties panel and go down to our attribute editor. So I'm just going to close this down. And we're going to hit add attribute. Now, the attribute for a title is data.izzymodal.title. And then we can put any value we want in. I'll add in ocean view. So now that's going to bring that up as a title bar. At the same time, it'll also bring it up as, it'll also bring up the uh, closure button. Okay, so now next we need to add a trigger. Again, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Uh, the first is to add attributes to an existing button or link. So we're going to go ahead and select that first button. Uh, and then again, make sure we're in our elements uh, properties uh, uh, panel and click add attribute. And then in this case, uh, we the attribute is data dash easy modal. And make sure all of this is lowercase. You don't want an uppercase in your attribute. And open. And then again, the value is going to be uh, our unique identifier. So again, ID of ocean view. Okay, so now we've got our trigger set up and uh, we have our uh, modal set up. So now if we uh, go ahead and pop this up on uh, browser preview, go ahead and click that view button, we can see that our nice big ocean view pops in with the title, a little bit of animation on that, and you can change that in the Izzy modal options and a nice closure button. Okay, so there's another way to add triggers where you can add, uh, you can use any element on the page. Uh, and in that case, uh, uh, we use a click listener, uh, so a little bit of, of hand coding, um, but it's not that hard. So let's set up this first uh, thumbnail photo that when we uh, click on that, it also pops up a modal. So go ahead and select that one. 
And then in order to do this, uh, whatever we're using for a trigger has to have some kind of uh, ID that we can identify it by. So I'm going to give this an ID of ocean thumb. And so now we can go back into our modal JS and add a little bit of text. And for the interest of time, I'm just going to copy paste. Uh, and so we still have that initiating the ocean view div as an Izzy modal. And now we're saying with the ocean thumb uh, element that has the ID of ocean thumb, when we click it, we want to run a function. And that function is to uh, open the ocean view uh, Izzy modal. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Open up our browser again. And now when we click on the photo, we see that we get the same modal opened up. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, Izzy Modal has a number of additional features for including icons, subtitles, or changing the opening and closing animations. And I really encourage you to check out the documentation. Remember that we can style that modal using the tools we have in PineGrow uh, and really make it uh, quite unique. I hope you found this tutorial useful and have fun designing with PineGrow.